Yo, guys, I just had a funny idea. Oh, no, here we go again. What do you, like, think would happen if the Universal logo was, like, in real life? Like, how much do you think it would weigh and stuff if it was made out of gold and all that? Welp, I've got nothing better to do. Ooh, I just had a funny idea. So, here we are. Uh, my brain has forced me to answer yet another strange question with little to no practical application, but hey, you're here as well, so let's have some fun with this. First off, let's take a look at what we're trying to find, namely the weight of this. And to find that, we're going to need to find the volume of the lettering. To begin with, I'm just going to divide up the letters into arbitrary units that will make the calculations easier. We'll put in some real numbers later, but for now we'll just find the volume in universal units. Using the middle E, we can measure that most of the letters are about 3 units wide and 4 units tall. From there, we'll divide the logo into a bunch of simple shapes like so. Now that it has been reduced to rectangles, trapezoids, parallelograms, and semicircles, we can find the area using these equations. Like so. Now you may have noticed that the S is conspicuously free of equations, and that's mainly because it's an irregular shape, and the math to find just the length of that shape, let alone the area, looks like this. So regrettably, due to my limited mathematical understanding, I am just going to estimate its shape to look something like this. And you can already see the math that's there, so it's an inaccurate calculation, but at least it's something. I threw all that into a calculator and got about 65.5 units squared. Now to convert this area into volume, we'll have to multiply it by its depth. The L makes it look like each letter is about 1.2 units deep, so we'll just multiply the 65 point whatever by 1.2 to get about 78.6 units cubed of universal logo. So now what we must do is find the actual size of the units we've found. Luckily, there's a convenient reference object right behind the logo called Earth, of which we, as its inhabitants, know pretty well. Unluckily, I'm not smart enough to figure out percent angle field of view or anything fancy like that, so what I'm going to do is estimate that if the depth is 1.2 units long, as I said before, the distance to the Earth is about 2.5 times that, so we get 3 units. Again, I'm going to do a little bit of estimation and say that this length here is equal to the length here, from the Strait of Gibraltar to the tip of Tunisia, which is about 1,390 kilometers. So, if that's 3 units, we can find out that 1 unit is 463.33333333333333333333 kilometers. Once we have that number, using this number from before, we can find the cubic kilometer ridge of our logo. It turns out to be a whopping 36,420 cubic kilometers of universal logo flying around Middle Earth orbit. That's a whole lot of logo. For reference, that's about 22 trillion large refrigerators, about 7.4 quintillion international footballs, about 34.7 million Empire State Buildings, about 14.7 million times the volume of the water behind the Hoover Dam, or enough to cover the entirety of India in 10 meters of universal logo. Okay, so that's a lot of big numbers that are kind of hard to comprehend, but try and imagine this. If you took just the little tiny itty bitty bottom of the eye right here, and you suspended that about cloud level above your head, it would cover the entire horizon. It would blot out the sun. This is a very big logo. Okay, so that's a lot of volume, but that's not exactly what I set out to answer. I wanted to know how much this thing weighed, and so that is what I shall do. The letters themselves appear to be solid gold with slabs of platinum or silver covering most of the faces. Initially, I thought I would try and find the weight of these platinum silver pieces to add to the total, but then I realized that just because of how thin they are, they really wouldn't affect the overall mass. Even though the platinum is actually denser than gold, I don't think they would add all that much to the total. So excuses for doing less math found and used, all that's left to do now is take our cubic kilometer age of gold and convert that into weight. If gold weighs 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter, then we can write out the equation to find the weight. And we get 702 quadrillion kilograms, or for us filthy Americans, 1 quintillion 549 quadrillion pounds. That's a ridiculous amount of weight. That's over 3 quintillion heavyish anvils. That's over 4,000 times the weight of Mount Everest, and that is even excluding the snow and ice. That's over 50 times the weight of both of Mars's moons combined. <clears throat> oh, uh, hey there, science Wittershins. Uh, do, do you have something to say? Yes, thank you. Do these things existing on such planetary scales, it is ill-advisable to measure them on an Earth-weight scale. Uh, we should really be measuring their mass instead of weight. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, Alright, then I guess we could do that. So yes, as I was saying, that's a lot of mass. And well, now that you bring up gravity, let's do some more physics. So there's this useful little thing that people have discovered called the law of gravity. 
which may not be as invaluable as you think, check out this video by Minifizics, but it works relatively well at this scale, so we can use it like so. This means that the universal logo is exerting 2.01 times 10 to the 26 newtons on Earth. In comparison, the moon exerts 1.99 times 10 to the 20 newtons of force on Earth. So this logo is exerting over a million times more force on the Earth than the moon does. Hey, uh, Science Wittersons here again. Due to how close and unspherical the logo is, the force would probably be pulling from all across the logo, leading to possibly less intense forces, but hey, I'm just a high schooler. Please ask an actual physicist if you are deeply concerned about this matter. Anyways, I think it's pretty needless to say that at least the surface of the Earth would be obliterated by the Universal logo if it were to exist in real life. I'm not sure if the planet would be completely destroyed or if the logo has enough escape velocity or if it would destroy the moon and rain down asteroids on the Earth or rip the insides of the Earth to shreds with tidal forces or any other number of ways our incredibly fragile home would be annihilated by the raw power of the Universal logo. Although imagining that somehow the Earth wasn't destroyed and that the raw materials of the logo were somehow brought back to Earth and harvested, how much money would we gain? But the insane amount of gold harvested from the Universal logo would completely devalue the stores of gold we have here on Earth, making it completely worthless. It would cause the complete collapse of the global gold mining industry, doubtlessly causing a mass economic crisis, not to mention the problem of storing that amount of metal and- well, given the current cost of gold, as of June 4th, 2021, is about $57 per gram, we'll take our mass from earlier and run this through to get a number like this. Approximating Jeff Bezos' net worth to $200 billion, every single 7.674 billion one of us would be over 26,000 times richer than him. Well, that was a fun little video, wasn't it? Anyways, this has been Wittishens of the Squadcast. Have a lovely day.